the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So for today's video, we're going to help this noob reach second C using the Buddha Field. But before that, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. Okay guys, so I know that the Awakened Buddha Fruit is one of the best fruits for grinding. But first, we're gonna start level 1. So Gamer Gnome, how do you grind using a Buddha Fruit? Very easy guys. Just transform, use your combat, left clicks, and that's enough to reach second C. You don't need to unlock skills yes, from the Buddha Fruit, you just focus on your combat. For example, this one, jungle, monkeys, left clicks, gorillas, left clicks. And with the transformation, you can tank the skills of the Gorilla King, the mini boss in this island. But gamer no, I don't want to destroy my mouse. Then use auto clicker. You can download this in Google. Moving on, go level here is level 30. Next up, Pirate Village. Again guys, remember the left clicks. Level 30, Pirates. At level 40, Brutes. Yep guys, when you've saved 25,000, you can buy the Busuhaki Rare Gamer Nom in the Frozen Village. This increases your defense as well as your physical damage. Okay, next up, if you have 250 candies, you can buy the elf hat. Why elf hat? Because this item increases your physical damage. Now back to grinding, level 55, Bobby. Left clicks is enough. See that? Very easy. At level 60, we are moving on to our next island, the desert. Level 60, Desert Bandits. Again, left clicks. Next up, level 75, Desert Officers. Just lure them. And again, left clicks. Again, there's no secret to grinding using a Buddha Fruit. Maybe the stats? Nearly 233, Defense 30. One more thing, if you're having difficulties traveling from island to island, just press back and just shift and jump. Activate your combat, jump, 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 and there's the glitch. Guys, I don't suggest using this, but if you want, just go for it. But I think you, there's a chance that you will get banned, so don't do it, guys. Okay, next island, Frozen Village. There you go, bye. Everything, the ability to yourselves, Sky Jump, the Soru. Moving on, level 90, Snow Bandits. Level 105, the Yeti. Yeah, very easy. As you just see that, I've included the left click and the Q. And when you reach level 130, we're gonna start defeating the Vice Admiral. For those who don't know, the location or the area is called Marine Fortress and you're gonna level up here until you reach level 225. Again, 225 Coliseum. Next up, Toga Warriors. At 275 Gladiators. You're gonna grind here until you reach level 330. Next up, Magma Village. We skip the military detectives. I'm gonna go straight to the military spies. Again, very easy, lure, lure, lure. Left clicks, and that's it. The goalie research level 350. And after that, we are going to start defeating the mini boss in this island, the Magma Admiral. There you go, dodge, dodge, to the left, to the left, left clicks. Oh, very easy, guys. And the goal here is to reach level 425. Okay, there you go. Next up, Underwater City. 425, Fishman Lord. Again, left clicks. Goal here is search level 500. Guys, this boss has two lives, but it doesn't matter because we're really strong. <laughs> Again, guys, level 500. Next up, Skylands. We're gonna start with the Whisper. 
Just avoid getting hit by its bazooka. The damage is kinda high and it's really annoying that one. Just dodge to the side. Use Q. This one. Next up, 575 Thunder God. So just do Surfer Hop and keep on defeating the Whisper, the Thunder God, the Whisper, Thunder God until you reach level 675. Next up, Fountain City. Again, 675. Cyborg. Oh, use your all your skills. Left click, Q, 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 left click. Until you reach level 700. And after that, don't forget to do the quest. In the prison, second C. Use all your candies to buy shards, fragments. Because that is the requirement to awaken the Buddha food. So we have 1.8 thousand candies and that is equivalent to 12,900 charges. I think that's enough. Going to the hot and cold, laboratory, opening the lab. Code is red, blue, green, blue. There you go. Guys, don't forget to bring your friends or look for a team because this mob, the boss, is very hard to defeat, I'm telling you. Some of the players told me that they can like finish it solo but I suggest just go look for a friend, okay? So some of my friends helped me, Venom, Soul, and one Awakened Buddha, so it's kinda really hard, okay? So you will be unlocking a total of 5 skills. So how about the Master Gamer Gnome? What I did, I went to Ice Castle, so use my left clicks, damage the mobs, and then last hit using the Buddha skill. So just to unlock all the skills. Mastery 200. Okay. By this time, I think I've already reached 200 mastery. There we go. Let's say we've unlocked all the skills. Let's compare it to the Unawakened Buddha. Yes, I'm gonna show you. A comparison. And I think this is really, really cool. Okay, so let's compare. First off, guys, the Z skill, the shift. So I have a friend here. Z skill. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. The Unawakened Buddha is so small. <laughs> and aside from that, I think your hitbox is wider. Okay. Next is skill is the F skill, Retribution Slash. So you can only unlock this when you're awakened. The second skill, F, and you will get your enemy and you can smash him. Again. Boom. Okay. So next up, the X skill. Let's check. There you go. Comparing it to the previous skill, the Unawakened one. Almost the same, guys, right? Next up, we got the C skill. This is the long range one. Check it out. The target. Boom. It's compared to the Unawakened. I think this is the Buddha Lip. Yeah. Yep. There you go. How about the V skill? This is the explosion. There you go. This is the awakened skill. Oh, it really looks cool, guys. Comparing it to the unawakened one, I think it's almost the same. There you go. This, just to be honest, I think the only thing that you need to unlock here is the shift, the transform, and that's it. You can just focus on your melee or your sword. Yes, because I think Buddha is for grinding and for PvP, it's not that good. Any thoughts? Comment it on the comment section. Recommendations, suggestions, again, comment it on the comment section. So guys, I think that's it for this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom. And Gamer Nom out.